Here in Middle Tennessee Presbytery, we have made a commitment to congregational development and redevelopment, and new worshiping communities fits right into our goals. In our ordination questions, we're challenged to use our imagination, and one way to do that is to help start a new worshiping community. Since starting as one, I've noticed that St. Andrews is more alive, more expressive, and more committed to evangelism and discipleship. We made the decision to start a new church in a growing area of Nashville. The First Pres has been a, uh, a financial piece for us. They have completely funded us to allow us to be fruitful in doing the ministry in which we do. This is the 21st century expression of the body of Christ. One of the surprises for new worshiping communities uh, in this presbytery is the fact that it's helped to revitalize existing congregations. It's helped us, I think, recover a sense of mission and evangelism. Not only are they giving us ideas, but we're able to give them ideas to impact their missions and in their outreach. What I've noticed is that St. Andrews is not afraid to take risks. Fear of the unknown, that was the biggest challenge that we overcame. And when you saw there's no competition between St. Andrews and As One, that fear diminished. It's a different age. What we're trying to do with new creation is find a way to respond to the changing culture. I think what surprised me was how much they freed us up to allow this community to be present outside of their control. This is one way in which our traditional churches are able to reach people for Christ who for the most part are walking past their doors. Healthy churches start new churches.